Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm gonna talk you through Tower Island door and how to get the three orbs that you need to be able to get up the Tower of the Sea or the Sea Tower, I think it's called. Hopefully the video is gonna help you out. If it does, drop me a like below, but this is essentially the way up to the purple streamer, so it's definitely one you're going to need. However, once you get to the door, you find that you need three orbs to be able to open it. And the clues to this start at Bonehead Island, and you'll pick them up as you will have gone to the other islands as you're going. But the main island that you need to go to is Full Moon Island, which starts out at Crescent Moon Island, which you can see at F3. Now you can see on the map that I've got other islands, I've got Club Island at D1 and Heart Island at D4, and then there's another island, I think at C3. But the one that you really need is this one, which will give you the biggest of the clues in terms of how to get the three orbs. When you land on Crescent Moon Island, you have to go all the way around to the top and complete this fishing challenge to pick up the crab. Once you defeat the crab in battle, it'll then open up an earth elemental pad, which then you can use to bring up the rest of Moon Island and this chest. There's also a little clue on the, uh, on the little toad plinth ahead of you, uh, but essentially what that gives you, it gives you a door key, which you can use on Mushroom Island, and it also tells you that Luigi is waiting with the diamond key at Mushroom Island, so you need to head there next. You can find Mushroom Island at E4, which you can see on the map there. And once you get there, you'll find that it is frozen in ice. There's an easy solution to this. Just hit this tree and you'll get this pad. Use the fire of elemental to melt it and then you'll be able to get inside. Once you're inside, you'll be able to use the doorknob to open the door and you'll get out to speak to Luigi, who will give you the diamond key. You'll then have to go down the stairs, which you can see just behind Luigi, but I won't go into the details of what you get down there because I don't want to give any spoilers about what's still to come. Now, you have also will have picked up clues about the location of a diamond island being in between the four other islands, and this is the location that you're looking for. So you need to head to D3, and once you get here, you can then duck down using the merino so you can dive underwater, and once you get underwater, what you'll find is that there is a lock to get into what will become Diamond Island, just this diamond shaped thing here with a key underneath it. And once you use the key on the door, you'll find yourself here, which is where you'll find the three orbs. But to be able to pick them up, you'll have to complete three challenges and there are three pads to use the Velamental powers to be able to get yourself into these trials. Now the first one, which you can see on the left hand side, you just use Earth Velamental. However, for the second two, you're going to need Ice Velamental powers, which you won't have at this stage. The good news is that the Ice Velamental Temple is actually behind all these trials. You just need to head over to the left and smash through the blocks and complete the Ice Velamental Temple. Once you have that, you can then head on back and freeze the water or put water in and then freeze it to get into the other trials. Now, if you're struggling with how to get into any of those, you can check out the video above. Equally, if you're struggling with the rope challenge, you can also check out some tips in my walkthrough series, which you can see the link for at the end of the video, and the same for the questions trial, the trial of wisdom, again, in the links at the end, along with other videos to help you along the way. But once you've completed all of those three trials, you'll then get the three orbs, and you'll be able to head on back to the Sea Tower Island to be able to get in and go after the purple streamer. And that is everything you need to know. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide and walkthrough series for Paper Mario the Origami King with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.